Hello there, you're watching Biz World. The Malaysian economy contracted by 4.5% in the third quarter, weighed down by nationwide containment measures. Governor of Bank Negara, Datuk Nur Shamsia Muhammad Yunus, however, said growth is expected to improve in the current quarter in line with the easing of restrictions and strong external demand conditions. The Malaysian economy is expected to grow between 5.5% and 6.5% um, next year. So on the global front, uh, we have improving demand, uh, particularly from Malaysia's major trade partners that will continue to provide support to our economy. Um, in domestically, uh, with many of the COVID-19 restrictions lifted, and as economic activity resume, we expect income to improve um, as businesses start to rehire. In the meantime, foreign direct investments for the third quarter recorded high net inflows of 12.8 billion ringgit, driven by earnings reinvestment and equity injections, while current account balance of payments registered a lower surplus of 11.6 billion ringgit, or 3.1 percent of the GDP. Headline inflation is expected to average between 2 to 3 percent this year and remain moderate in 2022. Meanwhile, the governor said the impact of the proposed Chukai Makmo under Budget 2022 is expected to be manageable on banks as it is a one-off tax. Datuk Nur Shamsia said banks' overall profitability is expected to remain supported by improvements in loan growth in line with economic recovery. The impact of Chukai Makmur uh, is expected to be manageable on banks given that it is a one-off tax. Uh, although it may lower um, the bank's retained earnings uh, for next year. But uh, the bank's overall profitability is expected to remain supported by improvements in loan growth um, as the country recovers from the prolonged effects of the pandemic and also potentially lower levels of provisioning next year uh, amid some improvements in the credit risk outlook. Meanwhile, Bank Negara is also working to enact the Consumer Credit Act in 2022 with the aim of strengthening regulatory arrangements for all consumer credit activities, including providers of buy now, pay later schemes. Meanwhile, CGS CIMB Securities is still projecting a core net profit growth of 2.4% for banks in 2022, even after it had adjusted its earnings projection to factor in Chukai Makmo and a 25 basis point hike in overnight policy rate OPR. In a research note, the brokerage firm projected core net profit growth from 10.5% to 9% for 2021 and from 8.1% to 2.4% for 2022. It had also raised its projected growth in core net profit for banks from 7.6% to 17.7% for 2023. This was due to a lower base for 2022, which is expected to be affected by Chukai Makmo and the positive impact of the OPR hike on 2023 earnings. Datuk Sri Muhammad Nazir Tun Razak on Money Matters this Saturday at 5 p.m. only on TV Tiga. Bank Pembangunan Malaysia today announced the completion of all the conditions precedent in the sale and purchase agreements with Credit Guarantee Corporation Malaysia and Minister of Finance Incorporated for the 100% acquisition of Dana Jamin National. In a statement, Bank Pembangunan Chairman Datuk Sri Nazir Raza said the banks are cognizant of the need to play an enhanced role to bolster Malaysia's economic development to meet its medium to long-term growth aspirations. The merger is expected to generate revenue and cost savings synergies over time as the two institutions increasingly share resources and integrate operations. Well, that's all the time we have for Biz World. I'm Azaria Tagaya. Thank you for watching and keep tuning in to TV Digger.